ok after installing the domain controller on this machine it restarted automatically the server got restarted automatically now let's sign in now the logon account you can see the domain name slash the username let's look into some of the features you can see now the active directory uh, sites and services users on the computer and active directory related stuff you will see in the tools to manage the dns uh, you need to select dns here or you can click the dns here both are same um, okay so now let us recap what we have done we have added the private network to all three servers and after that we added domain control to cluster DC server okay so now we successfully created the domain controller on this server now let us set up the IP address on all three nodes because uh, previously we didn't set up the IP address we just set up the IP address for uh, uh, this server okay so now uh, we need to set up the IP address for the remaining three nodes so for the cluster DC let us open the nodes we have given 110 and 111 for node 1 And default gateway is our uh, router IP address to access internet and uh, our DNS server is uh, 110 which is cluster DC IP address okay that's pretty much it uh, now we have uh, given the IP address for public IP now let's start uh, the private IP address for the private IP okay so it will be 192.168 and this uh, this subnet is 2 uh, 68 2.11 2.11 okay all right so we have given the ip for the public and private for node 1 let's do the same thing for node 2 So let's set up the IP address, public IP address for node 2.
this will be 168 for node 2 112 okay so this is fine for public IP address now let us set up the private IP address for node 2 for private IP address 2.12 okay so we have given the IP address let us do the same thing for node 3 for node 3 the IP address is uh, 113 113 so let's give 113 for For node 3, the private IP address is 2.13. So let us give that. Okay, so we have uh, we have given the IP address for all three servers. I will restart all three servers, node 1, node 2, and node 3. It will take some time. Uh, because uh, all three are virtual operating systems uh, running on my laptop it will take some time I will pass the video here and I will resume after the restart okay after assigning the IP address to all three nodes I have restarted all the servers now let's go to the cluster DC machine uh, so let's set up the reverse lookup zone So primary zone that is fine and uh, so let's create IPv4 and here network ID should be this this is fine okay so now we created the reverse lookup zone okay now let's start now what we need to do we need to join these three nodes to this domain okay so to join this computer to the domain Okay, we added uh, node 1 to the domain. Now let's add node 2. Okay, in order to get this screen, you need to press the Windows button. There is a Windows button on the keypad. If you press that, you will get this uh, screen. By default, there is no start button. Okay. So 
we created the user CLU admin in the domain controller machine and we have um, we ha I think we have not made it as a domain controller um, let us go and uh, users and computers make the CLU admin account as a domain administrator okay so in the meantime let's continue adding node 2 so now I am adding node 2 to this domain meta manager domain if you have problem adding to a, a server to domain you may have to check the network adapter IP address and all those things that's where the problem will be mostly but uh, since I have already done this demo earlier so it is pretty much same thing that I am doing now okay so I added uh, this server node 2 to the domain So domain admin, what I will do, I will add this account CLU admin as a domain admin, okay, so that I can use this account for installing clusters and various other things. Similarly, we can also create Uh, user account um, a service account for uh, installing SQL Server ok we will look into that little later uh, let's keep this window open ok so we added node 2 let's add node 3 to the domain right now they are, uh, it is in uh, what work group so let's add it to meta manager domain okay all three servers are added to the domain okay uh, we have added all three servers now let us uh, restart these servers Okay, it will take some time to uh, restart. I will pass the video here and I will resume after the restart. 